Hello book fighters. Um, this video is hopefully going to be really, really short. I know I say that all the time, but this time it actually will be because I don't have much to talk about. Largely because I didn't prepare a lot to talk about because I have finals still going on and unlike last week, I cannot make this week's video fit my finals. So it has to be something completely separate and hopefully quick. I do want to say first though that I have a new video up on my personal channel, which I will link to here. And it is about the influence of Ralph Waldo Emerson on Madeline Langle. So if you're interested in this channel, you might be interested in that video, which is why I'm talking about it now. Anyway, now to the mythology thing of the week. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Brees, King of Ireland, um, and how he was not a very good king. This story is set at the very beginning of Irish mythology, like, which, like the Welsh mythology I discussed last week, wasn't written down until the Middle Ages on account of the whole written language thing, but the stories are thought to be much, much older than that, especially the Irish stories, um, and especially these. This story is from what is known as the Mythological Cycle, which is one of the cycles of Irish mythology. The thing you have to understand about Ireland at this time is last week we talked about honor, well this week we're going to talk about hospitality. Hospitality was a really, really huge deal to the Celts and to the Irish at this time and even in later times we can still see that influence going on. Um, if you look at the laws of the time that we have written down and the triads or the wisdom sayings and everything, hospitality is really, really key. And so keep that in mind as I tell you this. Now, there's a whole lot of backstory to how Brees was born, as is the case with a lot of mythological heroes, and we're not going to get into that this week because it's not particularly relevant. Just know that he grew 14 years in 7 years. So when he was technically 7 years old, he had the size and strength and mentality and development of a 14 year old. And also know that his mother was one of the Tuatha de Danann, and his father was a Fomorian king. Now, the Tuatha de Danann were one of the early peoples of Ireland, and they were at war with the Fomorians. And the Tuatha de Danann were involved in a battle during which their king Nuada was injured, and Nuada lost his hand, and at that time in Ireland you could not be king if you were maimed, because the king represented the island itself. So if the king were injured, then the island was injured, so you had to get a new king, because you can't have Ireland be desecrated in that way. That's really bad. So we need a new king. So they make this 14-year-old kid, hey, he's 7, but he's also 14, let's make him king, largely because he has thought, well, he'll be able to unite the two tribes and finally bring an end to this fighting because his father was a Fomorian king and his mother is one of the Tuath D. So, peace! Yay! And we all know how that worked out with making peace through marriages last week. So let's see how it works out this week. So, Brees is made king. And to make a really long and detailed story short, he is a really, really shitty king. He has guests over, and he does not offer them any mead or ale or anything, and, like, that's not okay. That's not hospitable at all. It's just not okay. Because when you have guests over, you're supposed to offer them a meal, a drink, share a story or a song, and have them share a story or song. And that was how news traveled at the time, that was how people were welcomed. It was a really huge deal. So the fact that he wouldn't give his guests the proper amount of alcohol was a problem. Again, to make a long story short, the final straw that broke the proverbial camel's back was that he would not give welcome to a traveling bard. And the people were just like, this is enough. This guy is terrible. He's going to throw us into even more wars. Why did we get this guy in the first place, we need a new king, why can't we have Nuada back? Oh wait, he got his hand chopped off. Turns out, Nuada now 
has been blessed, and he has a silver hand. If you're thinking of Peter Pettigrew here, that's what I thought of too at first, but I can't make any connection there. If you can make a connection, that would be great. Basically, this whole story shows us that lack of hospitality is not only a bad thing, but it kind of coaches you, kind of like the way that we saw with honor last week. A dishonorable act will bring about a negative end to you unless you make amends for it. In a similar way, being inhospitable is kind of like being a negative spirit. You just bring all this negativity to everything. And I wrote a whole paper on this and I can't remember it anymore. But basically, the whole message is to be hospitable to people or you will no longer be the king of Ireland. If anybody else makes a video this week, that is awesome, and I will see you then. If not, I will see all of you next Saturday with another thing, I hope. Um, I'm going to my aunt's next Saturday, so I might not have internet, so I might not be on next Saturday, but I will definitely be here the Saturday after that, because I want to actually have this month happen. So, with that, goodbye.